Hello, 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 hello. There's a the porcupine road. in the road. So, hello, welcome back to our channel. We are on our way to Lyman Lake. We had church today and someone invited us to go to the lake with them. They have jet skis and they just fixed them up so they want to put them out on the water and make sure they're working. So they invited us to go with them and we don't get invited to do stuff like this very often. So we jumped on it. So off we go. We just got done at the lake and we went out on a, I took the kids out on the back of a, a jet ski. like a floaty on the back of a jet ski and before we got past the buoys when we were going really slow they were fine and then as soon as we got past the buoys Brandon sped up and they all started screaming and crying so we came back in and that wasn't very fun for them but I had a blast. Me too. And then Paul got to learn how to uh, uh, drive the jet ski. Yeah, Paul learned how to drive the jet ski and then him and I went out. So that was pretty fun. Fun little two hour time with friends at the lake after church. So we have had this dog that lives down the road. Our kids found, he escaped. We didn't know he lived down the road. Our kids found him. So we brought him into our yard, hoping that the owners would, you know, walk by looking for him and they did. So he got returned home and that was last week sometime, I think maybe a week and a half ago and um, since then he keeps getting out like he's always always out and when we had brought him into our yard he had broke one of our fence posts and so that then meant that our dog kept getting out we got our fence post fixed this morning I opened our windows and he was in our yard and so I looked out the window and sure enough, he broke our fence post to get into our yard. So he really likes us. He really likes our kids and he really likes our dog. So we can't keep him away now. So Paul is going to fix our fence post right now for a second time, um, but we're gonna reinforce it this time. So hopefully he won't be able to break it again. Broke the piece off the bottom and got in. So I just got back from the grocery store. I'm drinking orange juice for breakfast, it's super yummy. Um, I had to do a really early grocery, tri grocery trip today because Paul teaches music lessons on Fridays. So I had to rush out the door first thing this morning, but I wanted to show you guys my grocery haul and tell you about this really cool thing I found. It's called Well Vegan. Um, obviously, like if you don't eat 100% plant-based, you probably won't care about this, but if you do, um, it's $12 a month and she gives you a complete meal plan and grocery list. I've never done anything like that before. Um, and it's, I don't know, like I like meal planning and stuff, but I was, yesterday I was kind of overwhelmed and didn't feel like doing it and I stumbled upon this through Pinterest and I thought, well, $12 isn't too bad, so we'll give it a try. So I paid the $12, got this week's meal plan, um, all 
figured out, you know, I looked at the meal plan, got the grocery list printed, added a couple of things that we like to eat um, separate from what her list was and I went shopping. So, and I actually stayed under budget like $50. So that's pretty exciting. So I'm gonna show you my grocery haul just really quickly. And um, uh, I'm gonna review whether we like Well Vegan and the meal plan maybe like in a couple of weeks um, because we have a whole month of meals, you know, the whole month of June to go through. Um, so we I don't know if we're gonna like it. Uh, we'll see, but it's for $12. I'm pretty excited that my whole meal plan and grocery list was done. So we'll see, but I will review that at a later time. But let me flip the camera and show you guys our grocery haul. This is gonna be for banana bread. So obviously being mostly plant-based, the things we buy are mostly plants. I actually think that mushrooms are one of the most disgusting things ever created on this planet. I can't even be in the kitchen when they're being cooked. They smell so gross to me. So this is for Paul and the kids, and he will have to cook this particular dinner because it will literally make me puke. Um, we got two big bags of apples, onions. Lot, we eat a lot of avocado in our house. We eat a lot of spinach and spring mix. Um, lots of greens, lots and lots of greens. Um, broccoli, we've got asparagus, green zucchini, we got a yellow one. Uh, romaine, and then we got you know bell peppers, tomatoes. There's our other, we got beans. We, whenever I buy tofu, we don't eat tofu super duper often, but when we do, I always make sure it's organic and I always make sure that it's non-GMO. So that's just something I watch for. And then we've never had couscous before, but it's a part of this meal plan that we bought. So we're gonna try it and see if we like it. And then some oats, we got some noodles, lots of garlic, some corn tortillas, cilantro and parsley, some dry beans, Peanut butter is a staple in our house. Bread for sandwiches for the kids because that's just something they really enjoy. And we got lots of potatoes. We got sweet, actually, are these the russet? I think these are the russet potatoes. Russet potatoes, which we actually don't eat a lot of. Some yellow potatoes. And then over here, we have some sweet potatoes, some more onion, um, grapes, pistachios, which we really love, and then some cauliflower, which we don't always really like either, but I, a friend told me about a couple recipes that she makes, so we're gonna try those for lunches. So anyways, that's our grocery haul. Family of six, every meal that we need, obviously other than spices, um, for a whole week, so I think, we pay, I think it was like $140. So for a third time, we're gonna have to replace planks on our fence. Um, even though Paul made that extra barrier on there, the dog came over here and broke two of the planks this time and then dug a huge hole. And then, uh, so he was in our yard and that was not okay. And then our dog got out of the yard with him when we didn't know and they were running around our neighborhood. So we're pretty upset right now. What's that, mommy? What's that, mom? So here's the two planks that he totally busted and like the one barrier that Paul put on is fine, but the, the fence itself isn't. And then there's just like a big hole. We put a big rock there so he can't, obviously a dog can't dig a rock, hopefully, geez. But yeah, we're pretty upset. And Aspen knows she's in trouble for getting out. Are you in trouble, Aspen? She knows not to get out, huh? Mm -hmm. Kaylee, what's Daddy doing? Fixing the remote control car. My remote control car. Um, Ivan, we saw someone's bumper coming this on. This thing is super complicated, and every time Ivan takes it out, something breaks, and we have to fix it. Yeah. So I've got this box full of tools and stuff.
the dog now broke our fence even more than earlier and our dog is getting out again we are pretty furious all right you guys so you just saw bits and pieces of our week and the lake trip and the issues we've had with that darn dog all week um and our grocery haul it's been kind of a fun busy week um, oh and you got to see ivan's uh remote control car get fixed which it's been months that we've needed to fix i mean every single time he takes that darn thing out including this time i'll mention um he took it out today and one of the after playing with it a few times um, one of the tires popped off so there's that every single time he brings it out something breaks on it so we have to replace it he got it for christmas from my dad his grandpa uh, and for whatever reason just it just doesn't stay together so there's that's kind of a frustration. The bunnies are, I'm out in the garage filming because the kids are watching a movie and our bunnies are going nuts. So I don't know what they're doing. Anyways, I am drinking a Moscow mule, finishing one off. Uh, much needed after dealing with that dog so much today. Uh, I got home from the store and our dog was out running around again. So we're just, I went over to their house and I was like, you have got to deal with this dog. Um, apparently, supposedly, the dog is going tonight to a new home. We'll see what happens tomorrow. But if it keeps happening, we're filing a complaint. We want to be good neighbors and we're trying to be patient, but our fence has gotten broken three times now, so we're a little irritated. Anyways, um, one other thing we wanted to mention is we wanted to give you a house update. We've had two solid weeks with no activity. No one's looked at our house. No one, we haven't heard from our realtor. Nothing. So we are just continuing to pray that the Lord's timing, we know it's perfect. We know he's got somebody, you know, there's a plan. We know he has a plan. Um, we're just trying to be patient not think about it, not focus on it, continue to live our life um, intentionally and present in each day. You know, it's so, so easy to get caught up in living in the future, like thinking about the next step and thinking about, oh, RV life and how awesome it'll be or whatever it might be, and then to forget to live fully in each day. I don't know if that makes sense, but we're really trying to do that. We're really trying to just focus on each day, take it one day at a time. We're going to start painting and doing some things around the house to try and make it look maybe a little better. I don't know if that's the problem. So we're going to start working on that. Uh, obviously, now we have to fix our fence for a third time. So that's super cool. But we plan on painting our fence as well. So that's also coming. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's Friday night. Paul's gone. Uh, he has a church thing tonight that he had to go to. So the kids are watching a movie and I'm just finishing up this vlog and editing. I had two photo sessions to edit and then I'm editing vlogs, getting ready for next week. So uh, we hope that you guys have a great weekend and um, join us in prayer that our house would sell soon and for this dog situation that it would get fixed so we don't have to get you know like file a formal complaint and things like that we really don't want to have to do that so um, yeah thanks for watching like and subscribe uh, we'll be back on monday with a nugget and then wednesday with a recipe we're really excited about so um, yeah thanks for watching guys have a good weekend